What you guys, today we're talking about will Windows Recall be rolled out to every PC? And we're going to go through that in this video. Now, the other day I made a video about Windows Recall and how you can disable it in 24H2. And you can see right here, I did mention in there, it only works on, uh, you know, PCs that are Copilot Plus PCs. A lot of people keep asking, what is a Copilot Plus PC? So that's what we're going to be addressing in this video as well. And you can see the state of this is now disabled. And I showed you how to disable this. A lot of people were going on about how when this is running, it's actually running recall on your system and it's copying all your data. That is simply not true. There's a lot of misinformation out there being spread by a bunch of different types of people that don't understand what recall is and how it works. You'll also notice that recall is not inside the privacy and security settings. And that is because, which I already told you in my previous video, that this is not a Copilot Plus PC and it only works on Copilot Plus PCs as of today. But who knows what happens in uh, the future? We can't uh, tell the future, of course. So if you head over to Microsoft's website, it will tell you exactly what a Copilot Plus PC is. It's not that difficult. You can just do a little search and it will tell you that all the specifications that are needed to run Copilot Plus PCs, which will obviously have recall on it. This is also an opt-in uh, type of feature that you can opt into on a Copilot Plus PC. Now, Microsoft has set out some strict terms to make a computer qualify to be a Copilot Plus PC. It has to have certain requirements, and you can go through these on this website, and I'll show you exactly what it needs to be. So what makes a Copilot Plus PC unique? Copilot Plus PCs are new class of Windows 11 AI PCs that are powered by turbocharged neuro processing unit, which is an MPU and specialized computer chip for AI intensive processes like real time translations and image generation that can perform more than 40 trillion operations per second, which is tops for short. It says right there what it needs to be. So you can go through this website and answer all your frequently asked questions on this website. I'll leave a link for it in the video description. Are Copilot Plus PCs experiences available on all Windows 11 PCs? These Windows AI features require powerful neuro processing units, MPUs and specialized computer chips for AI intensive processes uh, that are unique to Copilot Plus PCs. And that is it right there. So it's not on your Windows 11 system on 24H2. Where are Copilot Plus PCs available? Copilot Plus PCs are available in most markets. Will Copilot Plus PC experiences come to devices powered by AMD and Intel? And they say, yes, they are partnering with Intel and AMD to bring Copilot Plus PC experiences to PCs with their processors in the future. Not right now. And it will probably be a special chip that you're going to have to have in the future that is going to work with uh, recall and all the other features that copilot plus pcs have so to answer your question windows 11 24 h2 will not have recall running and copying all your data when will recall be available recall in a preview is shifting uh, from the preview broadly available for copilot plus pcs and you can see copilot plus pcs are exactly what they're talking about not windows 11 24 h2 so bear that in mind, guys. There's a lot of people out there that are fear-mongering and scare-mongering people with all of this misinformation. So how does Recall work? Recall uses Copilot Plus PC's advanced processing capabilities to take images of your activity screen every few seconds, which we've already talked about in previous videos. And we all know what Recall is, and no one wants it on their system. But it isn't on Windows 11 right now, running and capturing all images. What is a Copilot Plus PC? You can look on here on their shop and it shows you exactly what a Copilot Plus PC is. It's not that difficult to find. You just do a little search and you'll realize that they are not what we are using right now on our computers. So for recall to function properly, it has to have special hardware and special requirements for it to function properly. So it's not gonna function as what you think it is on Windows 11 24H2. It's not going to be screen capturing everything and sending it back to Microsoft. So snapshot storage. If you are running a Copilot Plus PC, your snapshots aren't sent to Microsoft. Recall AI processing occurs locally 
and your snapshots are securely stored on your local device only. So it's on your computer. So all those people saying it's sending stuff back to Microsoft, it would need petabytes of storage every single day if it was copying everyone's PC in the world that is using PCs. That will be billions of PCs that is capturing information and sending it back, which is simply not true. And you can see right there under settings, privacy and security, recall and snapshots is visible right here. Users choose from the start whether they want Copilot. During the setup of your new Copilot Plus PC, you will be able to choose whether you want to use the recall service or not. So this is not talking about our PC in today. We're talking about Copilot Plus PCs. The user can opt in saving snapshots using recall if they want to. This setting also will be in your settings, privacy and security, recall and snapshots. Hence why you don't see that feature inside your Windows system because it's not working on your system. It's not going to be running, capturing all of your information and sending it back to Microsoft like a lot of people keep telling you. That is fear mongering what they're doing. So let's take a look here under the privacy and control over recall and experiences. Recall is an up and coming preview experience exclusive to Copilot Plus PCs, which we've already talked about. So stop panicking and worrying about data being copied on your PC and sent back to Microsoft because it's not happening and it's not happening anytime soon. And like I said, if you want to disable it, you can do. So all you need to do here, we'll look at this actual Copilot Plus PC uh, website here, and it tells you about how you can opt out. And what it's going to do is during the setup process, you're going to see a screen that looks something like this. The user always has control. Recall is an opt-in experience. So you can opt into it or opt out, depending on what you want to do. You don't have to use that feature. So during the setup experience for Copilot Plus PCs, users are given a clear option whether to opt in to saving snapshots using Recall. Right there on their website, on the Windows Experience blog, right there it shows you what they're going to be intending to do with Copilot Plus PCs, not your Windows 11 system or Windows 11 24H2. You will see a screen looking like this, during the installation or setup process on the recall out of box experience page. That's what you're going to see. Let me magnify this so you can see it clearly. Unlock your photographic memory with recall. And it says right here, yes, save or no, don't save. It's going to be an opt in whether you want to use that feature or not. And in the future, if you're living in the EU, there will be a feature where you can uninstall it. Now, I stumbled on this one here as well. No Windows recall is not required on 24H2, which we've already talked about in this video. Recently, a video from Chris Titus Tech, which also posted on Linux Tech Tips, uh, claims that Windows recall is required on 24H2 and that recall service remains enabled when recall is disabled because File Explorer loses tabs and falls back to the older UI if you were to disable it. However, this happens when recall is disabled before OOBE, i.e. when you are using a modified ISO to install with some debloat scripts. This is also, of course, an unsupported scenario uh, with unattended uh, behavior, removing recall via options, features in settings and apps. We'll also remove recall as per normal without affecting your file explorer. So when I showed you that video yesterday on how to disable recall, it's going to be disabled. It's not going to be copying your data and sending it back to Microsoft as a lot of people were saying. Now, I know there's a lot of conspiracy theory people out there that like to spread misinformation and frighten people saying that this is what they're doing behind the scenes without you knowing. There's no proof of that, what they're doing, and it's just nonsense. It really is. And like I've said already, if they're using recall and taking snapshots of your system without you knowing and sending it back to them, that would be a massive uh, criminal act and they would be sued badly for that. And also recall is not going to work on Windows 11 24H2 because it's not a Copilot Plus PC, like I mentioned in yesterday's video. And I responded to a lot of those trolls on my community post here where I made it clear that I don't want recall myself and I don't like recall. I don't work for Microsoft and I'm not a shield for Microsoft. 
These people are just trolls that like to spread misinformation and fear people. And that's all it is. It's just a constant thing. And yes, I did put Microsoft Recall mandatory on Windows 11 24 H2, but there's a person in that thumbnail with her fingers crossed. And I explained in there that it won't work on Windows 11 24 H2 because it's not a Copilot Plus PC. So I sort of answered that question. I was really should have probably put a question mark at the end of that title. And we all know that uh, Recall is a controversial feature. No one wants it. I certainly don't want it. It acts like spyware, and I definitely don't want it on a PC that I'm owning. But at the end of the day, it's definitely not on Windows 11 24 H2 running and copying all your data. We definitely know that. But anyway, you're always going to get people, uh, conspiracy theorist type people or of Linux fanboys that were going to say that how would you know that Microsoft are not copying your data? You can't trust them and all this sort of stuff. You know, if you don't like Windows, then don't use it. Use another operating system. It's that simple. Anyway, my name has been Brian from BradTechComputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.